Hello, you guys. It's Latios and Latios. And for this video, <laughs> it looks like he got a headache, bro. For this video, I'm finally. Oh, come on, bro. You still don't want to work? Ah, <sighs> well. I thought it was working. No. No. Well, who cares? That's why we have 5G. So I've been finally wanting to make the video for a bit now. So I'm going to combine it uh, into two parts. Actually, yeah, two parts in this video. They should not take too long to make. But uh, first big piece of news, I literally found out, like, who said it first? Uh, I don't remember where I found out about it on Twitter, no, Twitter, Instagram, but big news, and I don't know, this might be good, <laughs> is we all know in the Mr. Love community that Benjamin Diskin, uh, that would be Victor's voice actor, is not going to be in the game after this month. To be honest, so here's the deal. He has a what they call an NDA, non-disclosable agreement. I, I don't know, like, how it works in the voice community world but apparently it was like obviously nda that he couldn't really talk about him so that was kind of a big deal because it gave the people the wrong impression that he was being i don't want to say an ass oh but that's what it looked like you know but some people took it the wrong way wrong way because some people were like but he's so mean or something like nah bro if he can't talk about it he can't talk about it i don't know did he ever specifically say that i mean if all he said was just i can't talk about it because nda reasons okay that's a legit reason <laughs> that's you don't need to go into details so i'm pretty i think i read because of that issue with stuff he just could not be in the game anymore so oh no i forgot his name already <laughs> his last name not first so they got another voice actor for Victor. His name is Jonah Scott. Okay. I confuse him as Jonah Hill. I think that's the actor's last name too. I had no idea who he was. So I had to look him up because I just had no idea who he was. He doesn't have a lot of voice acting roles if I recall when I looked him up. However, there was one character in specific that people said to look up his voice acting on YouTube that compared to Victor because I'm like, oh, his name, oh, I don't even know what the hell the anime's name is, but the name of the anime's character that he voice acted is called Legoshi, like, is that his name? Like, Lego? <laughs> you know, so when I heard it, I'm like, oh, he sounds like Troy Baker, the Atlas voice actor that voiced Vincent and Catherine Yudi in Tales of Vesperia. I know he has a lot of acting under his belt. Oh, of course, how could I forget it? Uh, Kanji from Persona 4 before Matthew Mercer took over his voice. And I think they had to get another voice because Matthew Mercer did not want to voice act him, like be a copycat of troy baker which okay totally cool i understand that so those are just three at the top of my head i can just remember and i'm like whoa we get a victor voice actor that sounds like troy baker and his voice acting the actor himself is really good i was really impressed with what i heard i was not disappointed in it so I'm like, I think this is gonna be good. It's, I don't think it's gonna backfire. Obviously, it's still gonna sound strange to hear a different voice actor because let's recall. <laughs> Does anybody even know what the hell the Tales of series is? Because I've been following it for 10 years. The reason why I bring it up is we had the same problem. Actually, I don't know how true it is if they contacted him or not. That could have been the company's decision, Bandai Namco. Because if that's the case, then they can go fuck themselves, I guess. So, Tales of Vesperia, I forgot what the name of it is entirely, they got a re-release a couple years ago on the Switch. So, obviously, there was new dialogue that was unvoiced in the English version. That's a big deal, right? Which means getting the <laughs> reprised people back. 
I don't remember if they got all of the cast back, but I can tell you right now, they did not get Troy Baker back. I don't know if they didn't contact him or he just didn't want to reprise his role. I felt so sad that they didn't reprise his role of Yuri. So the voice actor that took over, because I'm, I'm explaining it to you this way because it's the same issue with Victor right now, right? I don't know his name, but I believe he voiced Tsurichi from Don Karompa. So I was like, you can tell when they change voice acting in the middle i notice it's very obvious okay but i'm like you know what his voice actor replacement is not that bad it could have been worse so i'm okay with it i got used to it so i think this is going to be the same situation with victor this time but lord when i heard his voice jonah scott hill <laughs> one of the two last name bro <laughs> i'm like why don't they use this person for more voice acting i really was impressed by his work not only that but he seems very very interactive with the fans and i don't think he's gonna have an nda agreement thing so you know what that means he could talk about victor all he wants so that's why I was like, this is probably a good thing. Not only can he talk about him, but also his the, the voice actor is All very right. amazing. Like, more companies need to use him. So I'm like, oh, that's big news. <laughs> so, of course. So that is the Victor uh, Big Go news. Like... <laughs> I hope nobody else gets replaced. I think uh, somebody pointed out that in the Korean server, they had to replace another voice actor in the middle. I don't remember who. And if it was, do tell me who it was and if it was the Korean server. But with that being said, I'm going to also make the video of... Aww, let me see. And so I'm finally making the video, I know, finally, of the wedding event. So, this is not going to be long, but here's the deal. Click. I'm annoyed how they have the animation on their cards here, or not cards, but the promotional thing here. The flowers falling, but they don't have them in the card, of course. <sighs> so, here's the deal. You can exchange for these. Should you go for this event? I say yes, because a lot of people want this event the wedding cards are amazing they're worth it they're awesome i love it too bad the dates are not real marriages they're just play-ons damn it fuck so i was looking through the cheat sheet and i'm like what other pavilion event will be coming up that could potentially want me to spend or save because i noticed in the gap of pavilions there's only like one and I don't know when we're gonna get it is the Chinese New Year's because everything else involves diamonds not pavilion tickets I believe maybe at a certain point we're gonna get that rerun with the uh, I might spend it on that because there's really nothing else pavilion wise right that I looked through I have to look at it again the Chinese New Year's event do I want to spend on that? No, I don't think so. If it comes back, which it probably should, I might just spend it and get this. But I'm not a fan of the card, though. I don't know. I might just say because I really don't care about the Valentine's 2021 cards. <laughs> I mean, after they dish heavily edited the cards and nerfed the SP animation, I'm like, bro, I don't even care if you gave it to me for free. They look ugly, so yes right. <laughs> so like i said this video is not going to be too long at least for the wedding event so this came actually last year in april it took them one year to bring this back that's a long time how my run went you can look at it through my playlist i save it all in one playlist on mr love if anybody's interested but i can give you the lowdown so what happened was I saved up all my tickets. I think I used diamonds included. I have to watch the video. I'm pretty sure I did because there's no fucking way I saved 144 tickets. No. I spend it all um, to obviously get 144 for exchange. In the run, I got Keto, Gavin, and I think two double of Victor. So I got very lucky 
because others have gotten worse luck and that's not good and I exchanged for Lysian so I got lucky I spent zero dollars on the event it's all RNG bro like like some people like I tried 60 70 tickets like nothing like if you're going on events like this have a little more than that because that's not enough RNG can really hit you really hard so here's Victor's uh Oh, that's so cute. Wedding and Lysian. Oh, so beautiful. Keto. Yeah, I just finally evolved this like just a few hours ago. I'm um, like, bruh, yes. And so adorable. I don't think I've read Lysian and Gavin's date still. Oops. And where are you, my man? Gavin. Huh? Oh. And here is Gavin's. I really think they're worth it because it's just so pretty. And especially after that horrible censorship of uh, the, the Valentine's, bro. Like, fuck. That was bad. <laughs> so... Like I said, I think you should go for it. I told you the timeline of events, or at least pavilion. That's up to you. Just make sure you have enough, at least 80 tickets. <laughs> Don't count on 60. I know, I just say 60 because that's just a number that's coming to mind. Don't count on it, I know, but that's rng for you so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video i wonder what event is going to come next i really have no clue i mean because i keep looking at the list and it's like bruh it's like honey like like the next big thing besides the birthdays that we're gonna pass right now okay west moon too yes that event that probably will never freaking come if it does yeah we're still missing free cards here but this one this is a pavilion ah and it has that top up huh i love it you see because after that is chapter card so it's like um what about more events in between a pretty sure they're gonna have to change it around right because we just had chapter events and they take at least three months of march so around june i think oh oh i forgot about this here huh maybe they might be eh, and bring this i'd spend for this after that i'd go on a saving spree for my pavilion tickets you see look at that and after that is another event this could be i think this might be the final season one of update oh i love this this here would be one of the final 60 dollars that i spent anything for victor because you know i can't keep spending 60 all over the place bro only on big events or at least with victor in it Twenty thousand. i still don't know why the cost so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video and who knows i think this voice actor jonah scott i think his name not hill is worth it that's all i have to say and also good luck to anybody that participates in the wedding event so i'll see you later bye